the term endotympanic insufflations means inhalation therapy for deafness. Let's explain further using some anatomical references. The middle ear is linked to the nose by the eustachian tube. This tube is very important for maintaining pressure in the middle ear and therefore ensuring hearing. To understand how important this is, just think about that loss of hearing or muffled hearing we experience when on a plane or in the mountains. Just swallowing a few times or blowing with the Valsalva maneuver compensates the pressure in the middle ear and relieves the symptom. Let's see how an endotympanic insufflation is carried out. With the collaboration of our friend Alessia, I will now show you the small catheter that we use to get into the nasal cavity. Obviously, this is just a demonstration. And reach the eustachian tube outlet where we then insufflate the substance inside, in this case thermal water, so that it can perform its anti-inflammatory effect. In some cases, instead of using the catheter, we use the so-called Politzer system. This is a slightly more complex manoeuvre, consisting in placing the much smaller and shorter, and therefore less uncomfortable, catheter in the nostril. Closing the other nostril with a finger, while the patient swallows a few times as the thermal water is insufflated. This system takes thermal water into the tube, consequently treating all the infections and inflammations in the tubes, and therefore also the rhinogene deafness.